I'm going to be showing another logo design process that I created for a recent client project. I hope you get some cool ideas from this. Now, I'll just give you a quick rundown. Uh, some of the major key brand words that this client wanted, he was already a designer that worked for like a print design slash agency, but he wanted to move more to a digital agency doing branding and web stuff. So uh, basically, he wanted something that was sophisticated, creative, but modern and simple, nothing too crazy. And so from that, he also mentioned that his dog was named Shadow. The name of the business is called Drop Shadow Agency. So we wanted to sort of incorporate one of the concepts with the dog head or a dog face so here's the mood boards i'll quickly go through it we looked at the competitors the competitors of these other big brand agencies are mostly typographic so we can see we've got collins here it's just all caps black and white you've got this design scientist which i really like it has the motif of the science table with all the elements on it you've got the big i lowercase um as you can see the custom g's there and then this one down the bottom big vision the custom g nice lowercase stack of text there so here were the competitors and he really liked these guys so we wanted to focus on three mood boards so this was the first one adventures precision so i'll grab the picture of his dog which is cool so we use that as a reference and then i quickly generated this logo vector art um just to get an idea and i showed him some other examples here so we've got like this nice icon the mountain all caps text the colors i picked a green because it was different to the competitors and neon green is like feels modern feels a bit techy and you can see we really wanted these like iconic icons here so grab some of these from dribble and i really like this design as well with the icon the text and then like a tagline or a slogan so that was one mood board one you got mood board two bold and creative so this one was a bit different focusing more on a monogram or like the letter d so instead of like a more of an illustration style this was a bit more on focus on the letters bold orange colors and then using sort of these brown tones earthy tones was cool i really like this logo here as well ob clear bound pictures i like this concept as well with like this elongated shape cut up this was really cool too and um yeah, next one was the spicy or the the very far off creative concept. So this is sleek shadow. I really like this really cool font culture, grotesque. That looks awesome. But I thought of just a simple idea using grays, black and white, and then maybe uh, gradient colors you know, rainbow color type of thing, multi-gradient, it just feels unique. I found this icon, which I really liked. I thought it was really cool. So I thought we could do an iconic design um, for inspiration and maybe use some geometric forms, but ultimately he went with the first one. So he really liked this concept. So then we moved on to design one, but he really wanted to use sort of this green that we found on a website. He liked this deep green. So we tried that and you can see here. So here's the original designs. I just went through, started playing around with it, the icon and the text. So I created Designs of Depth. I came up with that tagline and I generated this. Um, you can see this dog icon, which is really, really cool. So after um, I brought that into Illustrator, I vectorized that. Then I started playing around with different layouts of the text. So mainly stacking it because Drop Shadow long ways is very long. So I really like this stacked version. And then I created some different versions of the dog head, different colors. So these ones are popping really good. Obviously the shapes and all that wasn't perfect, but I was just trying to get the idea across. And I was testing different fonts, like grotesque fonts, more just plain sans serif ones, more condensed ones, playing around with some ideas. Maybe the P comes down inside of the zero. Thought that was kind of cool. And it creates this like shadow there effect or like invisible. Then there was this one here, like with a shadow that made it look 3D. That was another idea I had. Then I had like, Maybe what if I did gradient and then the word shadow was darker at the bottom. That was a concept. And then you can see here that the original dog, we tried the collar, then we simplified it and I tested it without the collar as well. So I was trying different versions. I had this version as well, where it's more, more tracing the exact photo, but that didn't turn out well. So you can see here, I traced it, but it didn't work out as I expected it to. Then I had this other version here, as you can see. So I used a generator to generate me this idea and then I vectorize it and then I customize it with the colors that I wanted, as you can see. And I really like this lock up here. You see how the designs of depth fit nicely within this space here between drop and shadow. So, and I lined it with a W and it's fully aligned with it on the baseline of the P of the drop first word. So that's really cool. So you can see I played with like maybe testing it with a nested shape. That was kind of cool, felt different. This felt kind of cool. I liked the idea of having that nested shape there and the colors. So, and then I changed the O, I put like a star in there. I thought like of a ninja or assassin from the word shadow. So I was like, oh, that'd be cool. 
And then I did a quick mock-up here, as you can see, and then I put it on like a web mock-up. So that was the final concept for one. And this was the concept for two. So this was round one. Then we go, I usually go for revision. So then after this, we went, here was the presentation. I could quickly show you because we're just doing the logo and a bit of the identity. You can see this is the logo, colors, did some mock-ups, as you can see there, looks nice. And then the same for the other version as well, as you can see. So that was a presentation. Then we ended up going back to the original green that I selected. And then I ended up doing this other dog face, more like poly triangular shapes, more simple using a Doberman dog face. And then I really like these bold colors here. Neon green is just a fun color to use. So here was the lockup. So we got stacked and horizontal. I played around this pattern. We had this idea of like, you know, cause it was a design agency, a sort of like creative activity, light bulbs, even though it's kind of cliche, but we tested it out. You can see the mockups here. I didn't do too many uh, mockups for this project, but it was fine. Then we did another revision and we ended up pulling back the dog and just going straight for the text. So with the text, what we did was I started cutting up the shadow text to make it unique. So here was all the options. So you can see I had one with like connecting the D, slide in the W up, taking the bar, crossbar off the H, and you can see all the different versions here at a glance. Some just had a cut W and the D was cut. I'm going to just keep it simple, minimal, and just focus on the font and the text. So we had a custom text, and then here were some other versions of the horizontal version. Pretty straightforward. Then round four, we ended up doing, here was the final designs that we did using the custom D. So what I did for this like extra logo here, I took this D from the shadow, and I just took the S from the shadow as well, and I just created like this simple letter mark. And then I created some patterns there. And then here was the final brand guidelines. You got the turn of voice, taglines here that I came up with. Designs with depth, casting brand shadow, shattering your success, shaping your presence. Thought this was really cool. It's just simple. Let's see how I laid it all out. As you can see, final logos, the colors, color combination, type settings. We use Clash Display and Geist and the pattern here as well. So this was uh, yeah, a fun little project. Um, just a simple logo identity um, for a design agency. I thought it was fun, something different. Not the usual client, but overall, yeah, I think it was fun. Hopefully this gives you some ideas. It's good to explore. And sometimes a client might have something in their head that you try and it doesn't really work or it's not getting the vibe that you want and then you just pivot and that's fine. Like, you know, as long as you're not doing like 10 and 20 revisions, that, like it's okay. Just make sure you have a set amount. But if it's small changes, it's fine. Like just keep reworking, tweaking. And if you have ideas, combine your ideas, even though you guide the project, but it's good to hear what your client's ideas are as well and try and combine it to make something really cool. So hope you enjoyed this process. If you do want to learn more logo design, I actually have two courses on Skillshare that you can grab. I'll put the links in the description below. I'll show you everything on how to do a logo and from scratch and how I design them in Illustrator. If you do want to watch me in a, another video of another branding process or for another project, I watched this video here where I break down a process for a client I did as well. Cheers.